Hi, this is Akshay with another video here and this time around we are going to take on types of chemical reaction. Let me, let me tell you straight away that is this is an introductory video which will give you a clear cut idea about the major types of chemical reaction we are going to deal with. And as far as board examinations are concerned, it is very important always being asked in examination there. So try to just grasp what are the fundamentals involved in this uh, type of you can say in this uh, uh, chemical uh, in this type of chemical reaction or in these types of chemical reactions. So firstly we are going to take on firstly it is the combination reaction there are five types combination reaction decomposition reaction displacement reaction double displacement reaction and the finally it is redox reaction so firstly we are going to take on combination reaction as the name is suggesting but is combination to combine and then to or more always remember combination happens between two or more than two things and whenever there is combination one product is going to form there so that's what happening according to this very uh, as the name is suggesting this reaction states that that when two or more than two simpler substances join together or react together to give a single product then that kind of combination then that kind of a chemical reaction is known as the combination reaction so here it is an hypothetical chemical reaction i have taken a is reacting with b and you are seeing here that is it gives you a single product only one product you are gonna have here that is a b so that means that is yes this hypothetical reaction illustrate the combination reaction here that is two or more than two simpler substances joined to together to give you a single product that is called combination reaction number two is the decomposition reaction remember decomposition is opposite to combination what is happening in combination it's gonna be in the reverse order in decomposition reaction decomposition means to split to break up and remember it, when we talk about splitting breaking up of things or one thing breaks up to give two or more than two simpler things there. So that's what this combination, this decomposition reaction is all about. Those chemical reaction in which a single substance breaks up to give two or more than two simpler substances are called decomposition reaction. Remember, decomposition needs energy so that you can break there, break up the things there. So energies of different forms. Predominantly, we are going to discuss the three forms of energies here and hence that will lead us to the categorization of decomposition reaction. So mainly there are three types of decomposition reaction. One is thermal decomposition, another one is photolytic decomposition, third one is electrolytic decomposition. Thermal means heat. That decomposition which is being carried out in the presence of heat energy is called thermal decomposition. Here A, B, a single substance breaking up under the action of heat energy to give you two simpler substances A and B. This is called thermal decomposition. Another one is photolytic decomposition. Photo means light. A kind of a decomposition in which a single substance breaks up under the action of sunlight to give you two or more than two simpler substances is called photolytic decomposition. It also involves energy but of different type. Third and final is electrolytic decomposition which is also known as electrolysis. Electrolytic decomposition a kind of decomposition reaction in which a single substance breaks up under the action of electric current to give you two or more than two simpler substances is called electrolytic decomposition or simply speaking it is called electrolysis here we have taken up substance ab it is breaking up under the action of electric current remember electric current is another form of energy it is break it is ab it is undergoing a kind of a decomposition under the action of electric current to give you two simpler substances A and B. So that's the another type of decomposition reaction. Now we are going to proceed to the next type of chemical reaction that is a displacement reaction. Those chemical reaction in which a most reactive element displaces the less reactive element from its salt solution 
called displacement reaction or you can say that is specifically speaking those chemical reaction in which most reactive matter or non metal displaces the least reactive metal or non metal from its salt solution is known as displacement reaction so that reaction is called displacement reaction i have taken this is a salt solution aqueous salt solution means a solution created or prepared in water so that is a salt solution ab and it is metal c which is being added into ab salt solution here aqua solution remember this c is the most reactive metal as compared to a so what the c will do c will displace a from its salt solution to give you cv plus a so here it is you will get cv and a is going to be displaced means it has been kicked out of this very salt solution by this most reactive matter but remember reverse is not true means the least reactive metal or less reactive metal cannot displace most reactive metal from its salt solution so that is what the displacement reaction is all about next fourth one is double displacement reaction means those chemical reaction in which mutual exchange of ions take place when the ionic compounds taken in aqueous form so both the ionic compounds here ab and cb these are the ionic compounds that we have taken in aqueous form so that we can have ion once we got ions then there will be a mutual exchange of ion between the respecting respective uh, ionic compound which have already taken in aqueous form there here this is but the mutual exchange is going to be a c are going to they are cation they are going to exchange their positions there and a come over here it will give you ad and c come over here it will give you cb or bc this is this can be uh, written as here it is i am just uh, changing it that is the cb here it will give you CB. So that's how the mutual exchange of ion take place. You can see here, C is coming over here and A is coming over there. So that's the mutual exchange of ions between the two ionic substances taken in aqueous form to give you two product. Remember, in such kind of a chemical reaction as you are noticing here, the substance AD is found in solid state. Small solid particles begin to come out of of the solution and those small solid particles which has started to come out of the solution are called precipitates and hence such a chemical reaction is also known as precipitation reaction in board examination that's how this question can also be asked in two or three marks category that but do you understand by the precipitation reaction explained by giving couple of examples there so that's how you are going to take on this very chemical reaction since during this reaction one of the substance begin to just separate out of the solution in the form of small solid particles called precipitate and hence this is called a precipitation reaction last and final it is redox reaction if you can notice this word redox it is made up of two words red and ox red stand for reduction ox stands for oxidation those chemical reaction in which reduction as well as oxidation go on simultaneously go on hand in hand are called redox reaction so what are the what is the definition of reduction what is the definition of oxidation that's what you should know what is reduction firstly we are going to take on reduction three definitions are there one is gain of lactone is called reduction second definition is gain of hydrogen or any electropositive element is also called reduction and the third one is loss of oxygen or any electronegative element is called reduction that's the three definition of reduction neither is oxidation just opposite to reduction is the op oxidation that is yes loss of electrons is called oxidation loss of hydrogen or any electropositive element is also called oxidation and the gain of oxygen or any electronegative element is also known as oxidation you can just uh, gonna 
understand these kind of a definitions, then we are going to take on the chemical reactions over there. Then and only then you can put this definition into perfect play there. Here we have taken the example A and B reacting to give you A positive means cation A plus a positive ion and B negative ion. These are gonna formed here. Remember what kind of a definition of re reduction and oxidation I have put in this very example. That is the electronic concept. Here A is losing electron and a loss of electron is known as yes loss of electron is called oxidation. This is called oxidation. Here it is mentioned is losing electron thereby oxidizing into A plus ion, A positive ion. What is happening to B here? B is gaining the electron and gain of electron as you have just listened a bit earlier, gain of electron is called reduction and by gaining one electron it is gonna transform into B negative ion, B negative ion here. So that's B is reducing into B negative ion and is oxidizing into a positive ion. In other words, we can say here A is losing electron and B is gaining that very electron which is being lost by A there. So here one more thing you have to keep in mind that is here the oxidizing agent and reducing agents are available and agent which carries out the oxidation is called oxidizing as an as you see here that is A is oxidizing here it means it is the B which is carrying out the oxidation of A into A plus ion or A positive ion and hence B is called oxidizing as an it is called oxidizing agent which carries out the oxidation and since B under B is undergoing a reduction means by gaining electron it got transformed into B negative ion. So who is carrying out the reduction of B into B negative ion it is the A because they are just doing a service to one another. So A is reducing B into B negative ion by supplying one electron. By, by giving one electron to B, A is reducing B into B negative ion. Since A is carrying out the reduction of B into B negative ion and hence A is called reducing agent. It is called reducing agent. But most fundamentally that is in such a chemical reaction both reduction as well as oxidation going on simultaneously and hence this chemical reaction is known as the redox reaction. So that's an introductory video related to the types of chemical reaction for in-depth analysis of these chemical reaction by undertaking number of chemical reaction in order to understand what you have learnt over here. Keep tuned to electrum classes and others video in-depth analysis of these types of chemical reactions with mechanisms are coming up very soon. So that's how you are gonna keep these vital points related to the types of chemical reaction in your mind and that's it here.